Hey guys, it's Kenny with Fly Time RC. I'm gonna talk about my um, awesome little ultralight that I built and tell you guys a few updates. Um, so, uh, a new prop, I'm doing the 13 by 6.5 on the front. So in the last video, we did the 13 by 8 by 3, which did work really well, but it was a little bit too much for the motor. I'm actually kind of surprised we didn't burn up the ESC. Um, and speaking of ESC, we have a new uh, 60 amp badass ESC. We're also running a uh, four cell lipo on this run. And then also check out this awesome little detachable seat I built. Just, I don't know, for no reason really. Just because I thought it would be cool. Hopefully um, it doesn't come off. Yeah, it's a little magnetic seat um, that I thought I'd just throw in there just for fun. Because I think it looks neat. Um, so a huge major update for this plane. Um, something I didn't notice in the last flight um, until I got home and I was just looking at the plane trying to figure out why I had to trim the elevator so much and it turns out that I had the wing uh, the angle of the attack of the wing down quite a bit and it's just an oversight uh, from when I was putting it together I just wasn't thinking about it so I actually had the front of the wing down about three quarters of an inch from the back of the wing, which gave it a terrible angle of attack. And that's why I had to compensate so much um, with either running flaps and or also um, a lot of tuning on the elevator to get the nose up to get it to fly flat or fly uh, at all, which was probably causing a ton of drag. So now that I fixed that, I've got the wing level now. Um, it's level with the tail surfaces, so I'm expecting this to fly like a whole new plane um, On top of that we also upgraded the landing gear. I came up with these little plywood um, Pieces right here that attach to the wheels and these kind of act like a spring system make them much stiffer Because every time I've landed so far they basically bent like way out And so I came up with these to hopefully stiffen it up so this thing will land nice and smooth um, other than that, still the same awesome plane. We're going to have it in safe mode when we take off, and we're just going to try to do a little trimming and see how this 13 by 6.5 prop works out. If it does good, we'll probably stick with it. Um, I also have a 14 inch prop coming, uh, 14 by 5, I believe. We'll try out in the future, but for now, if this works, then we'll probably stick with it for a little while because it's easy on the motor. But that's it for this one. Uh, we're gonna put it on the ground and see if it'll fly. Okay, so we're gonna put our takeoff flaps on. Um, all of our surfaces are working. We have it in uh, safe mode, um, just to get us up in the air and make sure that uh, we're, we're flying good. Um, and then we'll do a little tuning. We're going to try out this new 13 by 6.5 prop and hopefully it gives us enough thrust. I have a feeling it's going to work. Uh, how well um, we'll find out so here we go again oh yeah tons of thrust coming from that prop it's like a lot of lift yeah, right. there we go took the flaps off get... okay so how's it flying it's uh well safe is trying to take over so you can see um I don't have a lot of bank angle because of safe. It's on full throttle too. Uh, no, this is about 70% throttle. I could feel that this thing had a ton of thrust with that 16 inch prop. Oh yeah. You mean 13? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 13 Oops. by 6.5. Man. <laughs> Look It'd be kind of cool go. if you put a 16 inch It's flying prop so much here. better now. Because it's not it doesn't have a ton of drag. Yeah, holy cow, this thing does great. Kind of making me a little nervous because I have so much time invested into this, and I want it to fly good. Is it very sturdy? Yeah. Does it roll? Um, it won't while it's in safe. Oh yeah. This 
that's the little throttle there. Come around, coming around at full throttle. We do a full throttle pass. It's a lot of plane coming at us. It, I, I think this might be my favorite plane that, that you've built so far. It looks really oh, nice. Oh man, yeah, this thing is so nice. neat. Okay, so I'm gonna... Wait, did the seat fall out yet? I'm gonna see if I can gain some altitude here. Um, it's definitely slow to go up because it's not overpowered like a lot of my planes are. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm just trying to slowly uh, gain altitude. Is this a uh, plane that would easily stall? Uh, what's that? Uh, is this a uh, plane that will uh, easily stall? Like, fall off the sky or whatever? What's the lowest throttle before it stalls? Uh, I'm not sure. I kind of am not prepared to find out yet. Ooh. Um, we've got a couple minutes left. Um, Dang, I put the timer on for five minutes. Uh, I think I'm going to probably actually bring it in here in a minute because I'm not certain how much fly time we actually have. Um, so I'm going to put the flaps on and I'm gonna bring walk it over around. here. I'm gonna fly to Whoa. Oh no, emergency landing. <laughs> oh, okay, that worked out okay. Uh, that was Jeez. a little funky. Um, that scared me. Uh, that wasn't the best landing for sure. I should have started bringing it down farther back, um, but I could tell that the battery's getting a little low already, so I wanted to bring it in because um, I didn't have, I don't have the thrust to just take off from that slow again. Um, but it looks like the landing gear held up. Oh yeah, dang, the motor's still on. That's yeah, yeah, first. everything's good. Uh, landing gear is great. The landing gear, man, it's it, that made it all the difference. You have some passengers. Oh yeah, so the motor's, motor's pretty warm. So... Oh yeah, look at the seat's still in there and you have a bunch oh, yeah. of bugs on it. Uh, that was a little bit of a rough landing. We had full flaps on, so we're going pretty slow, but I'm going to call that a successful flight. It's um, like you have some passengers on. Oh yeah bunch um, of little bugs that's the ultralight um it's flying amazing it does really good um we're flying it in safe i might try to fly it um out of safe on the next run just to see if it handles a little bit better i didn't have to do any tuning um but i could tell that this prop is maybe just enough uh it had great it took off great but up in the air um it still feels a little heavy the 13 by eight by three did a little bit better um but it is a little bit much for this motor um this 13 by six is also maybe a little bit much for this motor but it did seem to do pretty good i think i'm gonna throw another battery in it and try to get a little better hang of it and uh when we get home we'll check your voltage and see how much battery we actually have left um but for now we'll see you guys in the next one